How's it going YouTube? What is happening everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Aquaporn with me, Steve. I missed my new algae update two days ago. I did my water change and added my fourth dose of new algae. And apparently it's always darkest before the dawn because truthfully, the tank wasn't looking so good uh, when I did my water change. I did have to scrape the glass, uh, which is something I hadn't had to do. And uh, the cyano was just really bad on the bottom of the tank and the tank just looked terrible. Now this was two days ago and yesterday I already noticed signs that it must be darkest before the dawn with this product. Um, right here you can see the cyano outbreak that I was having uh, on the, on the uh, sand bed here and it's just kind of streaming off of there. Well now this whole entire area was really dark and almost black gray. I'll give you a comparison. It was kind of like this area in here is what this area looked like two days ago. And now it's starting to break up. Those streamers are thinner. That's good sign. Even in the back here, you can see the streamers uh, are all starting to break up on this side of the sand bed especially because of this side of the tank I have a really high flow because it's coming across inside where there's not so much flow it's kinda of what it looked like two days ago but it is showing signs of starting to break apart and you can see the cyano is starting to grow up the glass now I don't know if that's cyano or diatoms uh, I've never seen black cyano Everybody I've seen that has cyano, it's all red cyano. This might just be cyano or a slime algae of some sort. I'm really not exactly sure what it is. But the new algae is taking hold in about three or four days. I'm going to do my fifth dose. But uh, I am showing positive signs. What I've been doing is I've been kind of keeping an eye on this rock here. This is the only rock in, in the whole system really that had a really bad outbreak of hair algae and as you can see here in the video it is starting to brown and go gray my lights really screw with the video but uh, you know that's kind of how I've been monitoring what's going on with this system overall the system's healthy looking good water parameters I took some water parameters because a bunch of people asked me what my water parameters have been like um, well magnesium I boosted up to 1620 using Kent M now that was to handle the bryopsis that has nothing to do with my new algae trial here uh, my nitrates and phosphates are registering zero not too surprising that they're registering zero because a I did a big water change and B, there's still a lot of algae here consuming those uh, those nutrients. And plus it's an API test kit and it only goes so far. I mean, there could be nitrates. I'm sure there's nitrates and phosphates in the system, but they're just not registering on that test kit. Uh, my pH is 8.4. My calcium is uh, 480. It's a little bit elevated, but that's because I elevated the uh, magnesium and I'm buffering the system to keep it with uh, to keep it in a 9 uh, between a 9 and 10 uh, DKH so overall you know my water parameters are good they've always been good though even before this breakout so new algae I'm starting to see some uh, positive moves it actually took a step back it was like looking good and looking like it was working really well and then it, now it took a step back so now it's rebounding again as I just showed you uh, the bryopsis let's see it's melting away Kent M is taking care of it doing just as it was you can't pick this up but these are actually all brown uh, it's definitely arrested the development of the bryopsis for sure it hasn't spread or grown or gotten bigger the bryopsis that I couldn't pluck out manually is still here but it is on its way out now I just got it up to 16 uh, 20 parts per million a couple days ago and now I gotta hold it because you don't want to raise it really quick you just want to do about a hundred parts per million a day so I did that over a course of four days 
And so now we're just going to hold it here and hopefully it'll all melt away just like it is there. So this is my update. Sorry I was late with it. Oh, here in the sump too I wanted to show you. Now there's some algae growing down here on the bottom and it was growing green. It's definitely now brown. I left my chato in there uh, through this whole process. Didn't think it would hurt. And uh, my algae scrubber cleaned it even though it didn't need to be cleaned. I haven't been producing any real algae in this since I've started this trial. But I'm going to just keep that going as well. Just to keep the system all the way I had it. But looking great. Got some great things coming down the pipe for y'all. Uh, I just found a great new shop.